Seven years of Legos Island. Oh my god. That's awesome. And as in yearly tradition, we have an anniversary party to celebrate. However, this is going to be a smaller party than the last few. Probably even smaller than the 6th anniversary. But not as small as the 1st anniversary. God no. But I just thought I'd give you a quick warning. Actually, you've been probably noticing the last few events have actually been quite small. Do comment down below if you've been able to notice in the last few episodes. Anyway, let's officially kick off this anniversary party with the sign. The Legos Island 7th Anniversary Party. From March 25th through the 28th. Because on March 29th, the Easter Fool's Day event will begin. The Easter Fool's Party 2024, which will go for that entire weekend of Easter weekend. Which is why this party is shorter than normal. Oh, this is for later in the week. I kind of made it early because I was a little bored. And I didn't realize I was already wearing it. Actually, that's the next episode. There's a sneak peek. So actually, you know what? It's probably for the better because that's a little sneak peek for the next video. For our next event. As you can see, we have a cake that says the number seven. Obviously, to represent the seven year anniversary of Legos Island. This honestly looks so cool. And yes, we have decorations all over the place in yellow, light blue, and blue, respectively, or just dark blue. But regardless, you get the idea at this point. There are banners here, which I think is the, hold on, third time in a row that we have an anniversary banner. Yep, third time in a row. We technically had one for the second anniversary. And then the 5th anniversary, 6th anniversary, and now 7th anniversary. My god, three in a row. Can we go for four years next year for eight years? That actually would be interesting. How many years in a row can we go with making a banner? Anyway, in legitimate seriousness, this is the port. And this is how it looks. This is genuinely very cool. And yeah, with all of that being said, the color scheme does use some colors from previous anniversaries. Fun fact, two out of the three colors actually come from the first anniversary party, which ironically, it was its color scheme back, you know, six years ago in 2018. Like literally, you can see the first anniversary color scheme literally right here because it was light blue and dark blue respectively in the respective event six years ago. So that's a little fun fact. Actually, that's not actually a joke. Like, if you do go watch back the first anniversary video, you will see these two colors all over the place. The yellow comes from the second anniversary. Now, why am I using these colors? It honestly looks cool. Not to mention, these actually were the same colors seen at the 1,000 subscribers event uh, a few months back. At the end of January, back when we hit that milestone, which was amazing, by the way. That's another reason. Because they look too cool. Anyway, the port honestly looks genuinely amazing. What do you guys think? Please comment down below and tell me what you think of the port. Now, we do have a free item here. Opening it up. What? The hat's gone? I had it in here and everything. And I'm actually not making that up. That was actually in there. Where the heck did it go? Well, we're gonna have to go looking for the anniversary hat since it's just gone now. But that actually gave me an idea of how we can look for it. I actually brought the dog version of myself here to celebrate the anniversary. Maybe he can help me find it. What? He's gone too? He was in here. I had everything ready. Okay, something's off here. Wait a second, it closed again? What? <gasps> I think I know what's going on here. All the items in the anniversary party have been swapped around and put in the wrong presents. That's why things seem wrong. It's because the items are not in the correct presents. We need to fix this immediately because we can't celebrate the anniversary with all the items in the wrong place. Because where the medieval banner is right now is where the hat's supposed to be located. Which makes me actually come to the realization that Oh! They've been swapped. They are in the wrong places. The medieval banner is supposed to be here. So this is where the hat is. We gotta reverse everything. 
and put everything back in the right order. And maybe we'll find the dog version of myself along the way. Because he must have gotten misplaced too. So next up, we are going to need the medieval banner we just grabbed. And put it where the hat was. And the hat goes in here. That means this banner is meant to go down at the village. Which, if I had to take a guess, yep, that's where he is. Aha! So, this banner is actually meant to go in here. And the Lego Master 627 dog meant to go in here on the mount. Now that all of the items have been put back in the right order, now let's tour this party properly. So for real this time, busting open the present, we have the 7th anniversary hat. Let's put it on, and that is how it looks. It looks very cool, although um, I think the blue on there would have been a little more necessary, but oh well. Plus also technically the number 7 is in gold anyway, so actually, you know what, this actually makes a lot more genuine sense. All right, uh, well, uh, that was definitely something. Uh, anyway, now that the port is done, let's head into the subway, which looks like this, by the way. It honestly looks super freaking cool. What do you guys think of this whole thing? This honestly looks really, really nice. I also hope you guys love the banners. And we will be getting that as an item later, as we just saw when doing the quest. But yeah, this is actually the shortest anniversary party of all time. It goes from Monday to Thursday, ending on Friday. And going up here um, on the staircase, you'll notice that we have three cakes having each respective color. Uh, candle. Going up here on the balcony, we can also see that there's even more banners and streamers as well. I actually just realized something. Okay, why the heck are you not with us? Yeah, she's meant to be with us. It's an anniversary today. That makes total sense. Anyway, the balcony still looks very, very cool. What do you guys think? Comment down below. And tell me what you think. The cave here also looks genuinely amazing. I also redid the oars as well, much like the St. Patrick's Day party. And I don't know if you saw it out there as well on the port. Which, if I didn't already get to that, I will show you later. Anyway, uh, the event room, much like the last few events, is not updated. I don't know. I'm just not up to doing it right now. These last few events. I don't know. I just have no interest. And no, not because, I've, not because I'm lazy. I just don't feel like it, honestly. I just have no interest right now. But the cave honestly looks really cool for the seven year anniversary of Legos Island. This honestly looks super freaking cool. What do you guys think of this whole cave design? Honestly, this looks genuinely amazing and a great way to celebrate seven years of this island. Seriously, man, it's crazy that it's already been seven years already. Like. Holy frick. By the way, I know it has been, I think, since Valentine's Day, ironically. Since the last time that this was updated, but it's updated! Finally! Like I said, I think for the first time since Valentine's Day. Much like how the resort was finally decorated for the first time since Valentine's Day during the St. Patrick's Day party, which is what we saw in the last episode. Finally, the underground party room is updated. I really hope we decorate this room more. Now that I think about it, why was it not decorated for St. Patrick's Day now that I think about it? Oh, well. At least it's decorated here. With that said, though, this honestly looks really, really cool. And no, this is the only room updated. None of the other rooms are decorated, but I really should take advantage of that more now that I think about it. Hopefully in the future. Anyway, this room honestly looks really cool. One of my personal favorite parts is the gold dance floor with the number 7. Honestly, that's like honestly my personal favorite part of this room, if I'm being quite honest with all of you. 
But yeah, this honestly looks really nice. This honestly looks extremely nice. What do you guys think of this whole room? Honestly, I freaking love it. And yeah, with that said, let's move on to the next room. I'm gonna do things a bit differently this tour, and we're actually going to, well, actually, we're not gonna take the minecart yet, because I need to showcase up here first, before we take the minecart, and then I'll take the minecart. Because I actually want to take it in sake of its anniversary. Which would ironically be two days after the Lego Island anniversary. Ah, uh, since the railroad was built, what do you... Uh, what a freaking coincidence. Anyway, this is what it looks like. There are cakes everywhere, as you can clearly see. Like, there are cakes literally everywhere. And honestly, that is so cool. My god, I did not expect to go this nuts, but you know what? Why not? It's great. And heck... Even up here is genuinely insane. Maybe not as insane, but as a little callback to the 6th anniversary, we have like LI7, which I think there might have been like a number 6, six somewhere like around here if I recall. I'm probably right or wrong about that. Regardless, this is such a cool room. Some aspects are taken from the St. Patrick's Day party, such as the streamers. But outside of that, everything else is completely different. What I mean by is the streamers are in the same place. With that being said, though, this is extremely clever. With all that being said, and yes, they go all the way to down here as well. Now that we have that over with, we, let's make our way down over here, and let's also take the minecart. It's been a while since we've taken this thing. Properly. What I mean by it is just we haven't taken this thing in quite a while. I really need to take advantage of this thing more, if I'm being quite honest. Because if you missed have notice in the last, like, I, I don't know, like four or five or six event tours, you may notice we have not taken this thing at all. I want to apologize. That's why I did it now. Because normally we do that in almost all the event tours. Oh, in perfect timing. That's actually why I went up here before the lodge. So we can bust out the Lego Master 627 dog. Yeah. Oh, and let me fix that. Much better. There we go. We bust out the Lego Master 627 dog. Yes, the dog that normally comes from Cool Cat Freddy Freeze Worlds. Which, yes, after this party, he obviously will be sent back, as he's only needed for this party. So, of course, he would be sent back after the party. When Easter Fools begins. Which is not the next episode, but the next one after. Next episode's Water Park Anniversary, which is, again, why you saw the hat earlier. As a little sneak peek. Because I made it a little early, because I was bored, as I said earlier. Anyway, I am up here on purpose to obviously tour it. But as you can see, this honestly looks super freaking cool, if I'm being quite honest with all of you. Yep, we have seven cakes right here. There's an extra one added here, because there used to be six here last time. But now that obviously it's been one year later, of course, a seventh one was added. But my... God, these decorations look super freaking cool. I still can't get over the banners, though. I'm referring to these, obviously. Still can't get over how cool they look. They genuinely look amazing. And just overall, the decorations in this room. Speaking of decorations, heading into the actual pet cemetery itself, can we get both of them in here? Let's freaking go. That's awesome. This is how it looks. And honestly, this looks amazing. And yes, for the first time in a while, this is also updated, I also think, for the first time since Valentine's Day. My god, there's a lot of rooms that have not been updated since Valentine's Day. This is one of the first times in forever, man. 
But yeah, it's actually updated up here. What a coincidence. Hey, I actually remembered for once. I should hopefully remember that from this point forward. At, well, not every single event, but most events. I can't do every single one because it would get kind of uh, insane to come up with more ideas. Plus, also, it would get kind of tiring. Actually, that's not a joke. I'm, like, not making that up. Sometimes it does get tiring doing, like, the same, like, room every time. Like, if, like for example, I can't, like, decorate this room every single event because eventually I'll run out of ideas. That's technically true. That's why you don't see every single room decorated for an event anymore. Only the really big ones. Now, I know this is a big event, and unfortunately, a majority of the island's actually not updated. But... Oh well. Regardless, this room's freaking awesome. And now, I am going to move on to the lodge. As you can see, the lodge is updated, but not on the inside, only the outside. By the way, perfect time for me to show you this. We have the lapis, diamond, and gold ores. But let me head over here and show you this really quick before I forget. The same can apply here as well. Which, honestly, this looks amazing as well. What do you guys think? Now that I have that over with, the lodge is not updated on the inside. I should really do that more. Seriously, that's not a joke. I should really update the lodge more. This is like the fifth or sixth event in a row that it has not been decorated. Have you also managed to notice that too? Crazy. It is crazy insane. With all of that being said, this honestly looks super cool. And what do you guys think of this? Actually, this might be one of the only anniversary rooms to not have any cakes in it. That's odd. I guess I just didn't put any here. Oh well, the room's already decorated well enough already as it is with all that being said that is super cool before we head on to the blacksmith shop let's get the medieval park over with since it is updated nothing besides the medieval park is updated like the last few events opening this up we have the medieval uh the seventh anniversary medieval banner let's go ahead and put that on and that is how it looks that's better. But yeah, you'll notice that you can see it all throughout the room as well. Which honestly looks freaking amazing. But yeah, it is all throughout the room as well. Super cool, man. Super cool. And very similar to the actual anniversary banner for this as well. Pretty cool, right? Oh, it happened again. It happened again. That better be the only one I find. I did not notice that till right now. I'm actually like dead serious. Actually, I don't need that minecart anymore since we're not going back up. Anyway... This is how it looks. It genuinely looks amazing. What do you guys think of the medieval park? And what do you think of the banners too, by the way? I'll go for this entrance. I mean, you can go for any entrance that you personally want for this. Yeah, this honestly looks so cool. And yes, even back there is updated. But honestly, this looks seriously cool. I still can't get over the color scheme I did. Oh, I did not mean to do that. But yeah, up here, as you can see, outside of fixing that one banner right there, I think, if I recall, or it might have been that one, but regardless. This looks honestly super freaking cool. Look at all the banners. They really do look all nice and decorated. Heading up to the actual balcony itself, we can see the exact same thing. 
Surprisingly no cakes up here though. Okay, this is the second uh, room in this party to not have any actual cakes. But this room's already too decked out anyway, so who cares? And yes, again, just for literal proof, just to get out of here real quick. Oh, dang, the dog and myself right there just met me there. Interesting. Interesting! I think the rest of these rooms should have cakes from now on in them, so that should be interesting. With all that being said, this is the blacksmith shop. By the way, our last item is in the village, so we will not be seeing another item until we make our way to the village, just to clarify. So, um, we'll get through these rooms a lot faster since we don't have another item. The medieval part took some time because we had an item. Heading in here, we also have this, except there's no candles here. Oh well. I'm not gonna bother adding them. This room's already looking way too cool enough without them. Oh yeah, the resort's updated, much like St. Patrick's Day. Oh, and it's freaking awesome. Not as cool as the underground party room, but God, let, I, let me tell you, it's insane. It's insane. Speaking of the resort, this looks way too cool. Like, look at the dock. It's all yellow and bamboo. We have another number seven right here. Very similarly to the six that we saw in the last party for this anniversary. We have even more decorations with even more banners. And much like the last one, we have six cakes. One for each umbrella as well, with all the respective colors. Unfortunately, unlike the previous year, there are no beacons, and no gift over here. So, that's something. I still think, though, the room does look freaking amazing. In a great way for 7 year anniversary party. Yeah, I genuinely cannot get over this freaking room design. It looks great. Well... There's not much else that needs to be said about that. Let's move on to the village. And you know what? For the freaking heck of it, let's take the um, railroad. Oh, come on, Kig. You're really going to do this to me now? Oh, dang. She, like, literally moves out of the way right as I pause that. I'm not even joking. Woo! Also, so this is a much quicker way to get down here. I'm like, the, uh, more... Also, hopefully... Don't do this to me again, King. God dang it! Oh well, we can just start right here. And it's gone again, but that's fine. Alright, now we're in the village, which is the last area. Let me get rid of the minecart. But before we head over to the actual village itself legitimately, here's what the subway looks like. This honestly looks super cool. Oh yeah, that's just gonna keep getting pushed back here. Anyway, regardless, this is how the subway looks. The village one, to be specific. And honestly, it looks super freaking cool. What do you guys think? Comment down below. Now, here's the actual village, which, while I am here, let's collect the final item in this party, which is the 7th anniversary banner. Let's put that on in replacement of the medieval banner. But, let's take another copy do this, and voila! We have all three items in the party. Yes, this has the least amount of items in an anniversary party. Normally, there's a lot of items related to the island's history. However, this time around, I wanted to change things up. Also, mainly because this is a very short party. Lasting four days rather than the usual seven. Mainly because Easter is on the 31st. If it wasn't for that, this party probably would have lasted all the way till April 1st like normal. But we also have Easter weekend, so that's another reason. It will not be like this in the next one, I promise. Because Easter is much later, thankfully. <clears throat> April 20th, 2025. That's actually not a joke. Anyway, back to the point, let's actually finish this tour, as we still got, like, this alongside, like, five other rooms, which are all these buildings, except for the hotel. Unfortunately, the hotel's not updated. It is the only building here to not be updated. But the village honestly looks really cool. And honestly, I 
freaking love this. Honestly, I went all out for this party. Yeah, in there is not updated. But the rest of the buildings are updated, though. I can um, assure you that. Yes, the rest of the buildings inside are updated for this party. So please um, do look forward to that in about a few minutes. This honestly looks super cool. The village design honestly looks amazing for this party. No, seriously, this honestly looks so cool. Anyway, well, that's it for the outside. Let's move on to the coffee shop. Let's see if we can get any of these guys in here by chance. Oh, we got both of them in here at once. Nice. Here is the coffee shop, which it looks like this, and uh, apparently the manager's gone for some reason. Oh, well. With all that being said, this honestly looks amazing. But yeah, that's the anniversary themed coffee shop. I did not expect myself to deck it this much. But I love it regardless. And well, let's move on to the library. Let me just get these guys out of here real quick. Oh, you gotta be freaking kidding me. Not again. Actually, I don't think this has happened in a while. Next up is the library, which thankfully there are two doors, so we don't actually have to worry about them getting stuck. And nice, two times in a row. Even though that guy just left, regardless. This is the library, and it is decked out for this party as well. Which honestly looks amazing. And yes, the villagers actually here unlock the coffee shop. Oh dang, he's literally right out there. This is how it looks though. It honestly looks super cool in here. What do you guys think? Yeah, there's not much else to really say beyond that point. Uh, let's move on. Let's go in here. See, is any of these guys gonna follow? Yeah, we'll keep him. Regardless, this is the first house being updated for this party. Honestly, looks very cool. What do you guys think? There's not much else to say beyond that point. These honestly do look like amazing rooms, though. Second to last room. Can we get both of them in here? Apparently, technically, yes. To an extent. Anyway, our second to last room in this party is the second house. Which honestly looks like this, by the way. Yep, and we have a cake in the middle, much like the last anniversary party. And the last room in this whole party, let me just get him out of here. Our last room in this whole party, if we can get both of them in here at once, thank God. The last room in this whole party is the clothes shop. Yep, the final room in this whole party is the clothes shop. That is amazing. And guys, that wraps up this episode of Legos Island. Happy seven years to Legos Island. Wow. We actually made it to seven years, guys. Seven freaking years. But yeah, that's the Legos Island seventh anniversary party.